I used to sell a lot of houses. I now run businesses, but I used to sell a lot of houses, like 150 homes a year. And I would encourage my clients all the time to do this. I tell them, listen, if you can pay an extra month's payment every year on your mortgage, let's say your mortgage payment is 2000 bucks, you're gonna pay $24,000 throughout the year, but if you can make one extra mortgage payment, a $26,000 total, it's actually gonna eliminate like six or seven years off your payments. Wow, holy cow, that is unbelievable insight. And I gave that insight thinking it was the best possible advice I could give. But I've maturated some of my thoughts. See, interest rates right now, let's say they're at 6%, 5%, 4%, 3%, doesn't matter where that interest rate is. I can simply take a look to say, where can I get the best return on investment for my money? Because if I have two grand extra, should I put that in the stock market? Should I put that in index funds? Should I put that uh, in, in the hands of somebody else that'll give me a higher return on my investment than just that interest rate? <clears throat> see, I see the Dave Ramseys of the world talk about how debt is a bad thing. I think that debt and the money that we have and, and the equity that we've earned is meant to be used as a catalyst and a resource to help other people. Now, if you choose to pay that extra two grand a month down, you are ahead of the game. You can also choose to take that extra two grand and invest it elsewhere, getting a higher rate of return on investment. That may pay you better in the long run. I'm not a financial expert. I'm not here to give you financial advice of saying this is where you should put your money, but I'm challenging you to dive in deeper to figure out what is that best plan for you. So if you haven't taken the time and energy to lean in and to talk to somebody, this is the time. Sitting on the money and just doing the regular, regular old payments it's not going to get you to where you want to get to fast enough.